Now, Davis and Young, uh, both of these guys are Christians, so I want to be a little bit, little bit careful about what they say about the Coconino. Uh, nonetheless, they've written on it in defense of, a, of an old earth position. And so here's what they say on page 214. A hiker along one of the canyon's many trails, speaking of the Grand Canyon, can easily verify that the Coconino Formation, and it should be Coconino Sandstone, is composed of almost entirely of very pale sand grains of a uniform size. And so they're saying that all the sand grains should be the same size. Page 305, the very fine sand of these formations has a uniform grain size that is characteristic of windblown sand in general. Less resistant mica grains have been abraded to oblivion and or wafted off site by the wind. The surfaces of individual grains are well-rounded. So again, these authors are citing all the characteristic things we think of desert sandstones. And they say, they claim that these things are in the Coconino. Uh, 